Good morning, S5. Hope you're all well. Hope you had uh, an enjoyable holiday and managed to kind of rest and relax and take your eyes off the screen for a few days. Um, but now we need to get back down to, to work and start working towards the evidence that you need for uh, your qualifications um, that are coming up and keep making sure we're finishing courses and all that kind of thing. Uh, as you know, there was an announcement made um, today or yesterday, because uh, this is Wednesday, not Tuesday, um, about folks coming back into the school. What that looks like for Falkirk High, we don't know yet. Um, there's lots of meetings going on. Uh, there's a meeting after school today of all the, the managers in the school as to what that's going to look like. So please keep an eye on your emails, keep an eye on teams uh, with particular practical subjects, keep an eye on group calls, keep an eye on the website, all that kind of things, all the different ways that we communicate with you, Twitter as well, uh, just so you know what's going on. And there will be an announcement coming from the school as soon as we have something uh, concrete to tell you. Uh, there's no point speculating because we might get it wrong, okay? Um, but basically what I want to talk to you about in the main is your course choices. Um, you need to be thinking about what you want to choose for S6. Um, now, there could be a few scenarios here. Some of you may have decided that you are leaving at the end of S5. If that is the case, absolutely fine. You do not have to make choices. Um, but if you wish to, just as a backup, just in case what you're hoping to do does, doesn't work out, then I'm quite happy to go ahead and do that. And uh, if we need to just scrub it because you get to college or to a job or whatever it is that you want to do, um, then that's fine. We, we can do that. It's easier to, to take things out than to try and fit things in later on. Um, when maybe all the courses are filled up. So <clears throat> feel free to go ahead and make choices if you wish to. You don't have to, okay? Um, so when we come to interview, please let me know, are you intending to come back for an S6? If that's the case, we'll go ahead and make your choices. If not, you've got the option, okay? But I'd also like to know what it is that you've got planned because uh, I don't want to just be leaving it, hanging, not really knowing where you're going, what you're doing. I need to know that you've got some kind of definite plan in place for when you leave school at the end of S5, okay? Um, I know you've been doing a bit of work over the last couple of weeks in the run-up to this, um, but please have a look at all the courses that are available to you. S6 is a bit more of a free choice. Uh, you can begin to kind of branch out the subjects you've maybe not done before. Um, if it fits and there's, there's, there's kind of evidence there that suggests that you would be able to do that course, um, you are expected to pick at least four subjects. Uh, you can do five if you wish and fill up the form, but four is the minimum we need you to choose. Uh, if you have been doing a college course in S5 that carries on for two years, then that will be one of your choices. You don't have to uh, change that, you'll just put that in as one of the choices and that would continue on uh, into S6 uh, as, as, as was planned. Okay. Um, please be aware there are one year foundation apprenticeships that you could potentially do at college and have a look at the college options as well because for some of you that might be a really good thing just to get a bit of a, a taste for what that's like um, for what working in that environment is all about and um, please have a look at that but also take note of the National Progression Awards or NPAs as they're otherwise known as as well because some of those courses might actually suit you as well at level six or level seven cat um, so uh, please have a look at that and don't look down on them as, as worse than hires or worse than than uh, advanced hires or national fives, they're not, they're the same uh, value, the same worth. So just to bear that in mind, it might be, be good for some of you to go for those kind of courses, okay? Um, when we come to interview, again, let me know if you're leaving or if you're staying on and we'll just proceed as, as planned. Uh, if you are leaving, like I said, you can't make a choice uh, if you wish to, it's entirely up to yourself, okay? I'm planning to do the interviews this week for you guys. Uh, I'm going to try and get them all done on Thursday and I'm going to put in the file section of this channel uh, a schedule of when the interviews will be. Uh, I'll be doing 5CL1 first, then I'll do 5CL2, but I've, I've worked it out that I can get through it. 10 minute interviews, we'll give ourselves plenty of time to talk it through. Um, can get it all done on a, on a Thursday and any that I don't get I can maybe mop up on the Friday. So please have a look at that, know when your interview is, it'll be done through Teams. Uh, I will call you or you can arrive at the meeting that I set up early and be waiting for me and I'll let you into the, the meeting once we're there, okay? Um, but it'll be good to catch up, see how things are going for you as well as doing your choices as well. We'll use it as a wee bit of catch up as well, okay? That's me, that's all I really need to say. Um, so yeah, 
enjoy your first week back. I know it's only three days, so it's a nice nice one to kind of break you back into the way of working again. Uh, but let's keep the heads down, let's keep going, keep the momentum going, keep working hard, guys. We will get through this. I mean, who knows, we may actually get to see each other in the flesh before we get to Easter, uh, which would be, be good for everybody involved, I think. We'll be fine. We will get there. Don't panic if you are. Okay, we're going to be all right. I and I look forward to speaking to you all soon. Bye.